I'm, I'm not an angry person. <laughs> Genuinely not. I've had, in my life, I've had no relationship with anger, really, at all. It's never been a problem for me. But you know what it's like when you finally get a thing that you've wanted for so long. Like, okay, last year, I had a, a big birthday, right? One of, the, one of the two main big... Of the two you're thinking, the higher one. <laughs> a birthday so big that my manager doesn't want me to say the number out loud on stage because she feels it will harm my television prospects. <laughs> as the granite temple door of that age came slamming down forever, at the last second, I managed to roll underneath it. Wife, baby, leather hat, yes! <laughs> but you know what it's like when you suddenly get a thing or things that you wanted so badly, and then you find yourself sitting alone in your car, howling with impotent fury at no one. <laughs> Don't go quiet on me now. <laughs> Everyone does this and no one ever talks about it. As a comedian, it's my job to normalise it. I should be making sure that everyone knows that everyone does it and you're not weird. I should be starting my show every night by going, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Where do you do your howling? It's important. <laughs> the first time I ever mentioned it, I was at a gig in Soho in central London and I was out on stage and I, I did a few minutes and I just stopped and I went, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. You know what it's like when you're sat alone in your car howling with rage? And they just looked at me. It was the loneliest I've ever felt on stage. It cast a shadow of doubt across my entire emotional landscape. Anyway, they don't have cars. So that's the... <laughs> but everyone does it, and there's no role models, no one to reassure us that we all do it. You never get Tom Cruise, right? I love Tom Cruise. I know. I love... <laughs> I love his film work specifically. And you never get Tom Cruise mid-action movie go, right, okay, you bring the truck around the front, you get the guns and the missile launcher in the back of the trunk. Brilliant. You put the money in the bag in case we need it later on. You get the helicopter and you grab the rubber head and brick. What do you mean, which one? There's only two. And the, the one the entire mission is... No, I realise... No, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. I know. I'm just saying that I assumed... I made an assumption. That's my fault. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I know you're tired as well. That doesn't mean I'm not also tired. Just, just wait there, wait there. Absolutely fine. No, the, uh, the mission was just looking a bit possible. Let's go. <laughs> For tour dates, news, updates, whatever they are, and the latest episodes of the Comedians Comedian podcast, go to stuartgoldsmith.com.